welcome back as you heard earlier pastor jimmy is my name and i just want to share something small that kwa mix english kiswahili ndo wale watu wananisikiza waelewe i want us to go straight to the book of luke chapter number 13 Watch any some from verse number 18 all the way to 21 and then we get some four lessons there and God is going to help us. Number one, the Bible says in verse number 18 of Luke uh, chapter number 13, then Jesus asked, and this is what he asked, what is the kingdom of God like? What shall I compare it to? It is like a mustard seed which a man took and planted in his own garden. It grew and became a big became a tree and the birds perched in its branches verse number 20 says which is my focus again he said what shall i compare the kingdom of god to it is like yeast that a woman took and mixed into 60 pounds of flour until it worked all through the dough praise the name of the lord I want to say this, that in this portion of scripture, tunona Christ akiuliza swali ilikuwa imekanganya wase. Na nime notice, Christ alikuwa akipresent vitu zake, alikuwa anapresent, sorry, na two story tunaitua parables. Parables ni kitu tunaita earthly stories that bear a heavenly meaning. So swali ni kwa nini Christ alikuwa natumia parables? Ju number one, alikuwa natafutua na Jews afanye makosa ndo wa mweke ndani ama wa muwe. Na unajua Christ ange daddy before afike time yake ya kuenda Golgotha. Kwa nini inge aribu prophecy, inge interfere na the divine plan of God. So Christ alisema wacha a sensor message zake by kutumia parables. Parables ilikuwa story zina deal na the nativity of the day culture of the day zil kwa zina tumia vitu awa sewa ngelewa a good example unapata kuna parable of the virgins alitumia the present day setting of a wedding but hapa leo tumeona ati christ aliuzi the what is the kingdom of god imagine after such a christmas break nikaelewa unajua tumeingia mbaka niwia nikaelewa ju e time watu wamekula makeki sana but then imenotu soswa me change eh, see food kuna mbaka makeki za christmas kuna keki mbaka za niwia Ndo ni kajuliza ni nini Christ alidu Ndo a explain kingdom Aka amuwa kuangalia a woman in a kitchen Imagine aka piga setting ya mse Aku about to bake Alikuwa na fla na akatumia yeast Leo nataa kubonga juye yo yeast Juye yeast inakupea four lessons Zenye zita kusot 2023 Yeast ni nini? Yeast ni a leavening agent what do we mean by leavening? Yes, ndo ile stuff wanaeka kwa fla. Alafu inafanya fla, ina raise, ina kuwa big. Ndo iweze kusot, kusot a large number of people. Nika baking powder. So unayeka hapo hivyo no mandazi kwe big. Ndo isot, ama iyo, iyo doi kwe big. Ndo iweze kusot so many people. So at this point in time, Tunana Christ anaonge about the great expansion. So living kwa scripture imetumia in, in, in two ways. Number one, imetumia ku explain growth. Number two, imetumia ku explain kitu inaitua corruption. So what am I saying? Imetumia ku explain influence yenye na bring growth kwa kingdom. Na pia imetumia ku explain influence yenye na bring corruption. But leo nataa kuambia 2023 tuna need ku grow. That's why tuna need influence flani as the kingdom. So what is the first influence? Yeast inaekewango, inaekewango ikiwa kidogo, but inafanyanga do yote inakuwa kubwa. Leo nataa kukushua hivi. Hii mwaka ya 2023, utaanza na vitu, zineza kaa kidogo, but God atazifanya bigi. Nataa kukupriya leo unyeleo hii kitu. That God anataa kuika kitu, ndo, kuna vitu ndogo wameka ndani yako, but ziku about kugrow, zikuwe bigi. Situ kubonga jua prosperity, kuna wase kuna gift yako inaanza kaa kitu ndogo, itagrow ikuwe bigi. Number two, iyo yeast ukisha yeka, do uneza una vile madhi ufanya home, aki prepare chapo. Kuna vile una need, kwa nini uki need, ni kusema unafanya iyo yeast ipamiet. Ipamiet na manisha imove, ipate access. So even though Christ alikuwa nasema, kingdom influence yake inanzanga ndogo inakuwa bigi. 
kingdom ina need ku permeate iko na access so ndio kitu god anataka ku do ya 2023 kuna wase hapa mtakuwa kama yeast na god ataanza kuwapatia access kama ni bees kuna area unaenda ku get access kama ni ministration open doors kuna place god anaenda kupatia access kwa sababu unaanza kama kitu ilikuwa inward but itaanza ku manifest outward wacha nikwambie leo kuna wase hapa wako na vitu na wajui wako nazo na nataka kutumia hiyo point ya inward number point number three ni that mtu weka yeast ndani but at the end of the day e yeast you want to manifest inje na naomba yeast ile kitu umekari ndani yako ianze ku manifest inje 2023 ni time ya kuingia kwa government ya god ndio kenya iko ndani yako ianze kuonekana inje nataka kushow hivi kuna point hapa siezi miss kabisa that yeast ni very pervasive pervasive ina manisha ina bring change yeast ikiye kwa hiyo do hiyo do aikae vile ilikuwa before ikuwe na yeast ka kitu kadogo kali bring change nataka kusho leo god anaweza ku introduce kwa dimension dogo yenye inaweza bring change hizi ndo four points nataka usiswai usiswai sao that number one, all big things begin, uh, begin small number two, nataka uelewe god anataka ku bring what is in the inside so that it can be seen on the outside so what is it god anataka ku manifest ile iko ndani yao wengine yako wengine ni power wengine ni ministry wengine ni bees na kitu kingine ni kwaanda kuambia god anataka kukupea access ndio uweze ku permeate is it kwa family members ni kwa wase wajajua god god anataka kupatia hiyo access finally unafojue kitu about the yeast you transform the entire door that wacha iko ile mwaka utamaliza zile vitu umeanza si ati yeast you guza side moja ya door inaacha side nyingine hapana wacha u receive ka grace ka ku complete vitu kuna msemu yanga hapo anasema unajuaje pasi unajua, unajua nini pasi mimi nataka kuanza na god ni sawa anza na god and make sure umemaliza na god hii mwaka wacha wasio malize zile vitu wameanza na nataka ku bring it to a conclusion to your point kwa mbizi ndo the four lessons unaweza unaweza learn today that you can begin small and end big you can receive access and yet you can bring change that will transform the world and other than that you can transform the entire thing you can accomplish all that you need to accomplish may the lord bless you may this message speak to you in 2023 be like the yeast god bless you so much amen mm. amen Anyway, <laughs> Pastor Jimmy, maybe guys when you naona leo and nasema wacha nianze na hii mwaka na salvation. Mm. Mm. Yes, you can lead people to, to salvation yeah. and as well as you can just commit this year also pray for the show mm. uh, Nick and I and the entire team also. Amen. Yes. Okay. Right. So uko pale na unasema pasi mimi nataka kuanza a different segment in my life. Mm. The greatest path to the will of God begins when you decide to follow the god of that will mm -hmm. i tell you the truth are you willing today to be submitted that is only through salvation so ko pale unataka kuokoka nataka useme hii prayer after mimi before ni wa pray alafu ni pray show mm -hmm. sema to lord jesus, lord jesus i come before you i, come before I you. Accept, accept that i am a sinner, I am a sinner. And, today, and today i put aside, I put aside my, sinful ways, my sinful ways and i accept you and accept as, Lord as Lord and the savior, and savior of my life. Of my life. Say Jesus, Jesus when you come for the church. When you come for let the me church. be among the number. Among Amen. The number. Amen. Come on mesema hiyo prayer. Look for a Bible believing church kwa wendangi church and that to place mm. God awata ku take in wa kufanyia discipleship na uta grow na God ataku bless. Mm. Let me just pray for them mm. that are beginning this year all of us in this case mm. that we are going to move in what God has spoken to us. Father, I thank you mm. for each and everyone watching us from the different corners of this nation. I announce to them that their year 2023 mm. is beginning on another note. Mm. Just like yeast, may you give them influence. Mm. May they begin small and do great things. Lord may they permeate from the inward to the outside may this be the year of their manifestation and may your government be installed in them may they hear the voice of your will 
May they not be swayed to the left or to the right. Mm. May they not be taken out. I pray for them that are in business. Begin to excel. Mm. In this year, make that which you never were able to make in the previous year. Mm. I pray that your resolutions, your plans, the things you've set will come to pass. In this year is not the year of misfortune, not the year where sickness and disease will disturb you. Mm. It is not the year of accidents. In this year, you have to become. May the Lord promote you. May he make you what you need to be. And as I release this voice under the backing of the apostolic voices that I receive as a covering, I want to release you to excellence in this year. Let it be the year where the government of God will rule your life. Even for JC Circle, for mm -hmm. DJ Nix, for host Miriam, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Endow them with wisdom. Give them grace. Make this show one that will turn the lives of so many people around. Mm -hmm. May men testify that their lives were changed even through this particular broadcast. Thank you mm. for them that have made this possible. Top management to this point. Mm. Bless them. Even the producer, the handlers, and everyone. Cover them yes. in Jesus' right. mighty name. Mm. Amen. Amen. God bless Amen. you so much. God bless you too. Amen. Yes, thank you so much, Pastor Jimmy. Mm. We honor you for that. Okay. Aki, thank you for every time that you usually call you and you show up. Mm. Hey, <laughs> my goodness. We are so humbled that God mm. continue blessing you and your family thank you. and Volta as well and Amen. Life Church and the Amen. entire anyone that knows you. Mm. We bless them. <laughs> All right, guys. Follow Pastor Jimmy if you have any question. Umokokasa, you like also to work with Pastor Jimmy. Follow him on all social media platforms. Mm. Jimmy Kidavasi. Mm. Instagram, Twitter, mm. Facebook, TikTok. I can assure you he's very active. Mm. So when you DM him, he's going to answer to you, right? Mm. 